All right, so let's talk about a PR or news-related email. And these you would want to use sparingly, and I would not send an email out just for any bit of you know, blog coverage you got. But if the exposure is at a level that's likely to transform a subscriber's perception of your brand, then I would say it's worth letting people know about it. So for instance, if you're featured in the New York Times or another really notable publication, um, if you're on Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, as we were recently, that's certainly worth letting people know about because that's really going to change the way people think about you. Um, you might also want to consider using the logos of credible news organizations that have covered your products as social proof in your brand boilerplate area. So we'll do that as well as we're building this next email. So here we are back in MailChimp. We'll create a new campaign, create email, and we'll call this uh, PR uh, news update again. And once again, we'll choose a template to work from. Okay, and let's uh, choose the product launch template here. All right, so we're gonna need to ch change this image. So again, we would simply click on it and we would hit replace. Now, I'll show you a little trick here. Obviously, you I've showed you you can upload an image from your local computer, but there's also an option here that allows you to import an image from a URL. So you can literally import any image that happens to be out there on the internet. Now, of course, you should own the rights to that image, so you don't want to violate someone's copyright. But if there's something that's on your website, for instance, we can just grab that. So let me show you how we do that. So I'm going to promote uh, an appearance. We recently uh, made an appearance on Dragon's Den, which, uh, if you're from the States, is very similar to Shark Tank. So that was a pretty big event for us. And that's something we would want to promote. So here, and they we were provided with some shots from the filming by uh, the CBC, which is the company that uh, broadcasts Dragon's Den here in Canada. So I'm going to left click on this image and I'll see this copy image address. I simply go back to the campaign builder and we can copy and paste that in here and hit import. And that will import that right into the spot here. So I'll just quickly update this. So young wins a $50 deal on Dragon's Den. And then I'll copy and paste. I'm going to point this. Oops. I'm going to point this to our blog, to a blog post that's already prepared on our website. So I'll just copy and paste some of the introductory text here. And make the call to action, watch the episode, because we've actually got the video right there on our website. And I'm going to insert a little bit of another space here. And we'll play with the fonts here. I typically like to use a different font for the headline than for the body text. Again, best if you keep your use of fonts consistent over all of your emails. So once you pick a style that you like, just stick with it. It'll make your emails look more consistent. It'll tighten people's perception of your brand. Okay. And this will link, obviously, to the blog post. All right. Now, what I, I'll show you here just how to quickly replace these. We'll just get rid of these and we'll create a new boilerplate that's more PR focused. So you could have more than one boilerplate that you could, and you can just choose your template based on which boilerplate you want to use. And I'll show you this design block here. There's the image group design block, which allows you to pull multiple images in here. Again, um, I've just uploaded some logos here. These are some notable publications that we've been featured in. So people, um, Washington Post, and by the way, even if you haven't been featured in some nationally known news channel or publication, um, you can still type whatever blogs you've been featured on. All of this is called social proof. It builds credibility, builds people's perception of your brand. And you can even have links to the article in here if you want. Most people simply view the logos as social proof. You can add more images here. Um, browse. I have uh, Oprah Magazine you're featured in. 
Okay, and I'll do this trick again. We'll add another image here. I'm going to browse. And again, I'm going to import this one from a URL. So this is an image that happens to be on our website here on the homepage. I'll just grab it from there. So this can make the process of moving images from your website uh, to an email very quick and easy. So we'll just right click on this, copy image address, and we'll move that over to campaign, paste it in, and that will be imported as well and dropped directly in there. So these are stacked. However, you can also view this in a preview mode to see how it will look on different devices. So there's desktop, mobile will make that a single column. So that'll shrink those down into a single column. We might want to introduce those by just introducing that section. So bring a text box over and we'll write as seen on and we'll center that. We will use the same headline font. Again, consistency is important. So we'll use I see it again, and we will make it bigger, perhaps, and bold as with the top one. Okay. Great, so there you have a PR-focused email and a couple of more tricks for bringing images in and how to create a boilerplate uh, using social proof uh, based on some of the press coverage you may have received.